Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We've seen some amazing advances in AI and large language models over the last 12 months. But with so many new releases of AI text generation models like ChatGPT, Claude, Google Gemini, and more, it can be really hard to keep up with which tools are the best and easiest to use to generate content using AI. To make things easy, I've tested out all of the free and paid large language models out there, and with even more crazy advances in large language models coming over the next 12 months, I wanted to share with you the seven best AI text generation tools that you can start using right now, and which are all completely free to use. I've even added in a bonus tool at the end of today's video that focuses on AI copywriting and comes with a very generous free tier. So hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into the first tool on the list, which I've been using to output longer articles and responses where ChatGPT's output can be quite limiting. Now, Claude is a large language model created by Anthropic with the overarching purpose of being a helpful conversational assistant. Claude version 2 launched within the last 12 months and will likely see even more releases that improve things coming in the next 12 months too. Now, according to Anthropic, Claude is a next generation AI assistant based on Anthropic's research into training helpful, honest, and harmless AI systems. So just how does Claude stack up against ChatGPT? Well, one of its main strengths is its ability to quickly generate high quality content for different purposes that in my opinion is on a par with GPT 3.5. Its main advantage over ChatGPT and BARD is that it outputs much longer responses, allowing for more meaningful articles to be produced in a single conversation. Now, this might be a bit of a double-edged sword for some people who want shorter and more specific responses from their chatbot. Like other AI chatbots, Claude's chat interface is user-friendly and minimalist, and you can upload documents too, and most importantly, it's completely free and definitely worth checking out. Next up, we've got ChatGPT, which has taken the world by storm over the last 12 months, partly because of its generous free tier, allowing anyone to experience the power of generative AI on web and now on mobile too. ChatGPT's free tier uses GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is super quick and provides excellent responses to most prompts. The addition of voice and the mobile app have greatly expanded accessibility to this already super powerful tool. The main drawback for me of ChatGPT's free tier is having to wait during busy periods and missing out on the greater power provided by GPT-4 and its plugins, which include things like Document Upload, Vision, and Dolly 3, though all of those will likely trickle down into the free tier over the next 12 months. For me, ChatGPT is still my go-to large language model due to its consistency and its ease of use. BARD is Google's experimental conversational AI tool. It's meant to function similarly to ChatGPT, with the biggest differences being that Google's service pulls its information from the web for free. BARD has come under some flack since its releases with some inaccuracies demonstrated on their public demos. But like most large language models, BARD can code, answer math problems, and help with your writing needs. Google's introduced extensions into BARD, which allow connections to Google Workspace, including things like Google Drive and Gmail, as well as YouTube and Maps, to pull useful data into the chat interface and experience. And with Gemini Ultra, Google's most capable LLM yet, which has been shown to outperform GPT 3.5 launching into BARD next year, Google is clearly going all in against OpenAI and ChatGPT over the next 12 months. When using BARD, I found that the responses tend to be much faster than other tools like ChatGPT, and the integration with Google, including Search and YouTube, adds an extra dimension when it comes to researching and managing my information. Compared to ChatGPT and Bing, BARD is also not limited to a set amount of responses. You can have long conversations with Google BARD, but Bing is limited to 30 replies in one conversation, and even ChatGPT Plus limits users to 50 messages every three hours. So definitely check BARD out. Our next generative AI tool on the list is Bing Chat from Microsoft. Microsoft is the largest investor in OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, and they're busy integrating OpenAI's tools into as many products as possible from Microsoft Office to their own Bing search engine. Bing Chat from Microsoft comes with GPT-4 as standard, which otherwise can only be accessed on ChatGPT Plus subscriptions at $20 per month. Now, I tend to use GPT-4 on my ChatGPT Plus subscription, and while slow 
slower to generate responses than GPT 3.5, the content is usually a much higher quality and it also comes with plugins, GPTs and more features. Some of these GPT 4 specific features are missing from Bing Chat and it's clearly being combined with some of Microsoft's own proprietary technology. But you'll still have access to GPT 4 and the advanced intelligence that comes with it for absolutely nothing. While Bing Chat is free, it has limited chats to 15 per session and 150 sessions per day. And for me personally, the interface isn't that appealing to use, but it's definitely worth checking out. Next up, we have Character AI, which embodies just how fun using artificial intelligence can be. The platform allows you to browse thousands of AI-created chatbots or create your own using a simple interface. Characters can be used for anything from language learning to choose your own adventure style creativity games and much more. Creating a character is really easy too. You just choose a name, add a greeting, and then generate an image for your character. There are some more advanced options too, like choosing the character's voice and providing more background and example conversations to make your character's voice unique. A little bit like ChatGPT, you can then speak with your personalized characters and use them for anything you like. And you can also share these in the community area and try other people's out, which is just really fun. Now, Character AI is free on mobile and desktop, and then the paid version is $9.99 per month, which adds priority access and more early access features. Perplexity AI is an AI-powered search engine and chatbot that utilizes advanced technologies like natural language processing and machine learning to provide accurate and comprehensive answers to user queries. It's designed to search the web in real time and offer up-to-date information on various topics. Perplexity is powered by large language models, specifically OpenAI's GPT technology, which allows it to understand and generate human-like text. Now, it's an answer engine that focuses on advancing how people discover and share information. Perplexity AI is available on web and as an app for iPhone users, making it easily accessible to a wide range of people. Users can access Perplexity AI for free from their website by heading over to perplexity.ai, and then you can ask the model any question simply by typing in your request into the search bar and clicking on the blue arrow. You can then review all of Perplexity AI's responses and their sources, and you can follow up with further questions by clicking the Ask a Follow-up button from the bar. The TextFX project is a very cool lab experiment from the team at Google. It's billed as AI-powered tools for rappers, writers, and wordsmiths, and it even has Lupe Fiasco walking through all of the tools on offer. TextFX comes with 10 specific tools aimed at boosting your creativity. These include things like breaking a word into similar sounding phrases, evaluating a topic from different points of view, and creating acronyms using the letters of a word. For me, the coolest thing about TextFX is that not only does each tool come with a video guide from Lupe Fiasco, but the look under the hood link shows you the actual prompts used, which is just super interesting and well worth checking out alone. Now, as a little bonus eighth generative AI tool, I wanted to focus on AI-powered copywriting. Copy.ai provides a range of automated creativity tools to overcome writer's block, along with AI-generated templates that can jumpstart your writing projects. The platform includes a long-form document editor that allows you to centralize your ideas and streamline your writing process, and it's a perfect addition onto things like ChatGPT. Copy.ai's workflow for product descriptions includes AI-powered writing tips and ideas to help you create create effective content. And it also includes a chat interface similar to ChatGPT and pairs this with a notes field so that you can quickly extract any topics that you're working on from the conversational area into an actual document. Unlike ChatGPT, the copy chatbot has the ability to scrape websites for public data, which means it can personalize emails from data on LinkedIn or summarize a YouTube video if you supply the link. And it will even search things like PubMed and provided links and summaries if you're writing an academic article. The pop-up modal-based interface may not be to everyone's liking, but it is fairly simple and minimalist. And most importantly, Copy AI's biggest benefit is its pricing. It has a very generous 2,000 word limit on its free plan and then unlimited words on its paid plan, which starts at just $49 per month. Now, I hope you found all of these generative AI tools useful and you're gonna be checking them out this year. I've got another brilliant video looking at lots of amazing AI tools that I checked out last year, which you can check out over here. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again in the next video. See ya.